Hello, I'm Brendan Way, and welcome to this, the first episode of The Booth. The idea is simple. Two guests and myself are recording this show in a small, cramped, unair-conditioned room. The longer they're here, the more they suffer. So, fortunately, I'm willing to give them the chance to leave, but only after they complete a series of questions and quiz-type games. Whoever I judge the winner at the end of the show gets their freedom. Whoever's left has to stay on for another week and another edition. Let's meet the victims. Joining me in the booth today, a sarcastic actor and writer so dry he wouldn't seem out of place in a desert, it's Daniel Luxton. Thank you very much. And a surreal scribe who's recently started experimenting with verse. He's a poet, and he know it, Antosh Vujic. Hey. How is everybody? You looking forward to the booth? I, I'm rather enjoying it. I've already got my body lathered up with sweat, and I'm getting ready to do some squirming about. I'm full on naked, um, or contemplating doing it anyway. Getting naked. Would you stop touching my leg? Yes. That won't get you any bonus points. Why not? Just because I'm not in... Into that, I'd, r- I'd rather stay fully clothed. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can put on more clothes if you want. Will that get me bonus points? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. God, dear God, put them on. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <clears throat> okay, uh, later I'll be asking you for your weirdest ever thoughts, so rack your brains and make sure you've got something to odd out your rival. First up, though, a little round called The Good, The Bad and The Funny. This anecdote off, each of you will relate your best, worst, and funniest times at a certain event or rite of passage. Every time we hear a set of stories, I will judge one as more interesting, thus winning its teller a point. This week, your event is birthdays. Who wants to go first with their best birthday? Well, birthdays have always struck me as this kind of absolutely ridiculous, arbitrary thing to just get drunk and have a bit of a crazy have a go of a dancing randomness with your mates. Whereas, you know, it's just, oh, well, it's the day, it's the point in the Earth's orbit around the sun on which I happened to be squeezed out from between my mother's legs. Let us all get drunk. Yeah, that sounds great. No, it's not. It's this completely random thing. It's just a random point in time that just happens to be at the same phasing of the seasons as you were when you were born so no i i hate birthdays and that's why i don't celebrate them so my best birthday has already got my got to be my 18th in which i sat at home and did my history coursework wow of choice yes uh, well i had to get it done obviously you, and... can, you couldn't postpone it for another day no why would i because it's because because it's your birth, birth No, time. no, this is what I'm getting at. Yeah, it's just 24 hours in the whole year in which you say, well, it's about the same time as of spring as it was when I squirted myself out no, of no, my no. mother's womb. But surely it's the one day you're more important than everyone else. You, your sense of superiority No, you're not. Is you're not important. It's not an important thing in the slightest. I think I'm important. That's because you're a comedian in a nice hat with the power of life and death over two hapless saps. Not because you happen to be born at a certain point of the summer. Can I clarify? You weren't, people weren't getting drunk for your fifth birthday, were they? Is that why you're so bitter? Are you just an alcoholic? Mine were. I don't know about you guys. I thought that was the dumb thing. Parents get drunk. Just, you know. You, you weren't. Sneak, you weren't you drunk. Sneak. They weren't sneaking you sneaky yeah, yeah, beverages, were they? Yeah. Is that what was that your best birthday? I don't know. I can't remember it. You got. <laughs> you can't remember any birthday <laughs> from birth. No. I don't want to. Right. What? And I, think, I think you're just. You're just sad, man. I think you need a friend. I think that's the problem. Yeah, well, friends. That's another thing that's overrated. I mean, what is it? What? What are friends? They're just people they that happen to. But there's no such thing as friendship. It's always just people exchanging one favour for another. People only become your friends and they're getting something out of it. Okay, um, you, you go calm down in the corner. And Antosh, I'll bring you in. Uh, what was your best birthday? Um, well, I, all of my birthdays have been really good. Uh, there was that time I, I got I had pancakes in the morning. That was, that, was a, that was a good birthday. Don't usually have them for breakfast? No, not, not every just day. That, just that little pancake day? Yeah, well, yeah, but like... Is your birthday pancake no, day? No, no, I wish it was, but sometimes it feels like it is, which is... Is pancake day things. the same day every year? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, it could indeed be your it birthday. Could, yeah, it could be. Somebody is... Some lucky soul is born on pancake yeah. day. Wait, yeah. no, it isn't. It's a different time of year each year, actually. Well, in that case, I retract so my last point. It's the start of Lent. It's never been on my birthday, so March 1st. Yeah. I, I miss it by, like... It, it could be, it could be, because Easter changes every year because yeah. Christians throw up their hands and go, we don't know when Jesus died, We're so let's judge just it by celebrate, the moon. celebrate <laughs> all the time. 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus is famous for living on the moon. I think it's more like I've got excess maple syrup. Let's you know make some pancakes. Get on it. Jesus would be proud. Yes, he would. Um, my happiest birthday memory was probably we went to a pub quiz and we decided that if we didn't come last, we'd have to do a shot on everyone. And my team was about like, what do you mean on no, everyone? Sorry, like, what, uh, off them? No, just no, no. Like they bought the, the shot. They oh right, the okay. Shot. And they were about. We were a team of seven or eight, I think. Oh no. Uh, yeah, and I can see where we, this is we going. didn't come last. <laughs> so they lied. Were you up. second from last? No, no. We 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 came like we were like fourth from last, or out of six. Out of six people. Out of six teams. Six? No, eight teams. F- eight teams. We we came like halfway. Yeah, because if you were fourth, then that should yeah. be third. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just you can't remember a lot. We didn't come last. We didn't come last. I know that. And then they lined up all the shots on the bar, and it was like a sort of like rainbow spectrum. They were all different. Ooh, and yeah, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I had some. There was some blue stuff. There was some orange stuff. There was some coffee liqueur in there, I remember. And yeah, uh, that famous rainbow colour, black. Yeah, well, you know, if you're, if you're the other that way inclined... You kind of sometimes see the rainbow. When I look at a rainbow, I see black. Yeah, you would be like him. Yeah, and then I, I drank them all in, in about 30 seconds and then walked home, got progressively drunker as I got to my door, woke up with the worst hangover, hangover ever, and uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a pretty good birthday. One hell of a fourth birthday. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was my 18th. Well, was, I think just because just cause it's more happier and it... Really, for the defining the best, I'm going to give the point to Antosh. Right. Yeah. Worst birthdays. Uh, uh, Dan, I, I'm, I guess you're going to have some pretty strong feelings on they're all the worst. Yeah, we're talking specifically about my birthdays. Any birthday. Any birthdays any? you've been to. It can be other people's birthdays. Well, I suppose it was a pretty good birthday all around. But my friend Alex, I think it was his birthday, and he decided to invite some friends around as you apparently do on your birthday because that's a time of that nebulous thing friendship but the problem was that his friends also decided to invite some friends of theirs around and i had decided to buy not make because i'm a cheapskate and the ingredients cost more than the actual thing in the shops i decided to buy some fairy cakes and bring them along and the friends of the friends stole the fairy cakes, went upstairs to the spare bedroom, locked themselves in, ate all the fairy cakes, didn't partake in the socialising, as they call it in Britain, at all. And so it was at once uh, an enjoyable experience, apart from when everyone got drunk and I got really annoyed because I don't drink and so people getting drunk just really pissed me off. Can, can I ask why you bought the cake? Because that sounds like something <laughs> a friend would do. Uh... No, no, because <laughs> I I bought the same cakes the last time we all had a jolly little meet-up, but a dog ate them all. So I thought, well, whoa, I'm whoa, going whoa, to... Whoa, t- whoa, 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 whoa. You're really just a sweetheart, aren't you? How, yes. how did a dog... Were they placed too low? Was someone just feeding them? Yes, yeah, so we were having a picnic and the cakes were on bowl? the floor... No, and there was just a dog running around. It wasn't just a stray. I was just asking. A, f- a friend of the person who had organised it, not my friend because I don't have them, obviously, had brought their dog along and the dog was just scampering around and licking all the icing off the cakes. And so I thought, well, these cakes look delicious. I'm definitely going to, at one point or another, actually eat some of these they cakes. They have the dog seal of approval. Hmm. Can yes. Dogs, can dogs eat fairy cakes? They're not No, that it died. <laughs> Karma. Karma in action. Yeah. It kind of deserved it for being so stupid. You're saying, it's the, saying it's the dog's fault? Yeah, just yeah. going for food on the floor? Well, yeah. It just, like, it's where all it food gets, is. It probably gets fed like regularly in the day. Just... Dogs don't care. Dogs don't care. Yeah, I know. I, well, I think it's much their fault as well, having mm. the cakes on the floor thinking, oh, the dog will be all right. He'll resist. But referring to Alex's party, that's not the worst thing they could have done the party. They could have, you know, smashed the place up. They could have... But I get I get annoyed at when little people don't, when you affronts. don't get cakes. Like that, like stealing my cakes. So yes, Alex is nineteenth. A load of drunk, horny boys downstairs, and a load of—is <laughs> that why they went upstairs and locked themselves in? Yeah, whole tick. Probably a load of squealing, place? idiotic girls eating know. my cakes upstairs. That's not a euphemism, Antosh. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <clears throat> yes, so that's probably my grumpiest birthday that I've experienced. Sounds like you're grumpy for all of them. But okay, Antosh, can you beat that? What was your worst uh, birthday? Well, for me. Uh, I think it was my 17th, we went into town and we were like, yeah, I'll have a nice meal in a pretty fairly posh restaurant. Went in there, they had a whole like wall made out of glass bottles. I was like, this is this is pretty swish. The meal was good, 
pretty expensive. We'd suited up for it and told one of our friends that we were just going casual. And he turned up in track knee bottoms, which was <laughs> quite good fun. And then uh, on our on our walk home, we walked past the kebab van and uh, the like youth club for just sort of let out. And obviously, like we're we're in suits, so we're quite a uh, you know distinctive. Yeah, quite, they can see you. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, Sort of in the area I live, there are quite a few like youths that are a bit like they go bit, to the club, bit, bit they go to the youth few. club, yeah, they go to youth club, have a bit of um, that's where the youths hang, have a bit of sherbet lemon, you know, get a bit like rolled up, yeah. So we're out there and they were all kind of there in the hoodies and like sort of cussing. <laughs> and uh, someone sort of said, like, you're a prick or something. And uh, I one of, one of my one of my mates <laughs> is it's one of those people who you can't like restrain himself, so he just sort of went around. Pfft, like you're a prick, and then we just kept walking, and then like suddenly we get swarmed by like thirty like youths, and they were we're all there like I just I just wanted to have a meal and, and go home. It's it's my birthday, and they're all squaring up to the guy who mouthed off, and uh, one of them punched him in the face, and we all clambered around him, and we we're like, oh, you 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 can't you can't have a fight. If we if we have a fight now, we are gonna get stabbed and we're gonna die, and it's my birthday. I don't really want that to happen. Could be worse. Yes. Could you could have been hit in the yeah, face? Yeah, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. But then again, like a fight could have ensued. Uh, to make it worse, someone threw a fruit at me. Yeah, did you survive? Yeah, yeah. That, that is I as mean, worse as a stabbing. That, that's, yeah. that's worse. Yeah, it was a strawberry as well. It's really hard to get out. So, yeah, that was. It, I think it was made worse by the fact that we'd had such a nice evening. And then, yeah. you know, my mate got punched in the face, had, had like his tooth chipped. Oh, did you have to go to a casualty? Not a casualty, but it was like, I probably should go to the dentist. I have to say, this round has been comedy gold so far. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse, cake stealing, mm. dead dogs. Free bomb jacket. You yeah, know. bloody hell. Mm. It's all kicking off in Woking. Um, Ham. Woking Ham. Woking I Ham. I don't live in Woking. Is that near? No. He lives in Ham. Don't I, forget I that. I live in Ham. Mm. Woking is like towards London. To be fair, I, I failed geography. Well, oh, I didn't right. I didn't take it past <laughs> UCSE. So I'm an actor. I don't, need, I, don't, it, I, I, I don't need to know anything. I don't need to know where places are. I don't need to know. Yeah. You, don't know, you, you might walk into somewhere and you might not know what the crowd's like. If I knew this was that's not what ge- That's not what geography is. Yeah, geography, yeah, isn't, no, geography isn't there'll be you know in Wokingham. Like you can't go up into Scotland and start making jokes about, you know, that's a whole Ge- different class. just colouring in, isn't it? That's yeah. all maps, anyone did. It's maps, types of farms. That's all any, I know people Erosion. who did GCSE geography, and all they did was just colour stuff in for two years. It's the water cycle. Yeah, 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 rivers. Erosion, yeah. I like a bit of erosion. Scintillating stuff. Scint- <laughs> yeah. What, you like a bit? What, I like a bit of erosion. What, stuff eroding off you, or just you like no, watching just rivers watching and look, look at those rocks been yeah. worn down yeah, over like, the years? You imagine the journeys as pebbles been on, uh, all that through erosion. I like erosion. It reminds me of my faith in humanity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to give you the point, Antosh, but yours actually didn't happen. It could have been worse, but it didn't materialise. Whereas the cakes, they were definitely stolen, uh, and yeah. they were definitely went. Oh, and as a cake fan, I think I think the point has to go for Dan. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, uh, last bit of birthday. The funniest birthday. Funniest birthday moment at a party. Could be your own. Could be a funny present. Uh, oh, Silence. <laughs> Birthdays aren't generally funny. Really? Even even Schadenfreude, you laughing at someone else? I'm nope. usually drunk during most of them. So Everything seems funny. Everything does seem funny. Except for fruits. Oh, that's out of order. Yeah, yeah. Fruit on jacket. Not good. Not good. Um, for me, quite cosmic at the time, uh, me and a couple of friends, we went to a party in it, sort of by the college, and they live like in a massive council estate which is just like a maze. And uh, it was a fancy dress, and I was uh, dressed up as Clockwork Orange. Uh, That's not his name. Yeah, well, I know. He, the guy uh, from... Oh, no, the he guy was from dressed up as an actual orange yeah, that was run that by was Clockwork. Clockwork. Gurr. Makeup and everything. Right? Um, as, a, as a guy from... As a droog. That's what they're called. And my friend was a mad scientist. Mm-hmm. And, Did uh, he create you? No. I wish he had. Had he forced open your eyes to watch a terrifying film? Uh, there, there was a bit of that in, in, the, in the evening. Method acting. Method yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah. Right in there. It was... It was quite good. I was I was a bit traumatized, but you know, uh, cider made everything better. So it's fine. as always, yeah. Yep. Right. So you were saying, okay. Well, dressed as a druid, he's a scientist. Dressed as a druid, had had a nice night and uh, got really drunk, and we walked from Cove, which is where the party was, to Fleet, which is about three miles away, to walk a girl home. And we, we had no idea where we were going. And uh, this is where geography would have been. Yeah, helpful. yeah. This yeah. is yeah. I left my map at home and. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, I was just r- running around as a druid, like sort of 
Where's Fleet? Yeah, where's Fleet? Yeah, where's, where's, where's Fleet? Where, where are my Did you, did, did where you my end vesh? up at Fleet? I, I had a golf club as well, so I was like, I could smash things in. And like, I remember going to McDonald's and just, we went into the drive through pretending we were in a car. We did you get served? Someone, yeah, someone, someone won a free hot chocolate, so they were just like, yeah, yeah, I want this free hot chocolate. It, it tasted like boiled water with a bit of cocoa powder in it, so we recommend that at three in the morning. But uh, it was pretty mad, running around as a dream. But did you get to Fleet? Yeah, yeah, I got to Fleet. How I, did you get back? We, we walked. We walked a girl there. Yeah. Because I had a thing for her at the time, so I was thinking, like, if I walk her back, guaranteed mm. pussy. And uh, <laughs> it didn't didn't transpire like that, but uh, we managed to find our way back. I think we scared Anything a few people. You, uh, yeah, oh, I, scared an old, I scared an old woman. It wasn't Halloween. Her. Wasn't no. Halloween. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I scared an old woman offering her some malocca. She took them. Yeah, yeah, she did. It had cocaine in it as well. It was pretty. What, what, what is malocca? Malocca. Have you not read Clockwork Orange? No. It's milk with knives in it, oh. which is a metaphor for cocaine. Huh. Yeah. So that that was that was that is that is quite bizarre. Uh, Daniel, can that you top that? Uh, well, I have funny been be racking my brains for a funny anecdote that occurred at a birthday the best i can think of is when my sister had a birthday party at a farm and some little kids in her class were walking through the cow shed and the stench made them vomit <laughs> and i didn't like those kids very much so that's a very funny thing yeah schadenfreude yeah when you say the cow shed do you mean literally a cow shed Yes. Why do you have a cow shed? Well, it, it wasn't my farm. I live in London. I don't have a farm out back. You know, you know farmers? Where? No, it's, it was just up the road because I live on the very edge of London. It was just up the road and it was a, a, a show farm that you could go in and, and look around. And a pet show all, farm? Pet what, the, the cows animals. doing the can-can? Well, yeah, that, there was a bit of that. There was a bit of horses doing juggling. There was a bit of pigs giving birth. You know, they, they haven't completely thought it through. You yeah. sure you weren't at an ad- agricultural based circus? Because, like, a horse juggling, I haven't ever seen that happen in a field. Well, you've been looking in the wrong fields. You've Obviously, never been yeah. to a show farm. Yeah, I mean, you, you should see the things. I mean, fields in London are terrific. You look in one direction, they've got horses doing juggling, but in the other, you've got two people having sex. It's a <laughs> fantastic place to live, London. Everything is on show. Yes, literally. A bit like this room because it really has got quite hot now and a lot of clothes have been divested. Put your blazer back on. (sighs) I'm sure there's some sort of law against that. Right, um, so you want your story about vomiting to uh, be considered funny. It's the funniest thing in the world. Right. Well, you think... Giving a lady milk with knives is funny. Well, I I have, I have to say um, I'm not a huge fan of vomiting as funny, so I'm going to give the point to Antosh. Yeah. Right, it's time for your weirdest thought. Give them each in turn, and then I'll open them up to debate and see if we can see some sense in them. Who's ever sounds the least rational wins the round. Uh, yesterday, someone was talking about pregnancy, mm-hmm. and I thought, do you reckon it would be sort of like unwise when my wife's water breaks? to like cup some and like pour it in a kettle and then boil it and see if it makes a good cup of tea. Ooh. How are you imagining this water's coming out? Well, you know, you know when a woman's water breaks. I'm not sure there'd be enough for a cup of tea. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, people know. eat placentas, but I, how much water actually comes out of this woman? I don't know, I don't know man. Maybe I should. You should, yeah. You should experiment. It, like, you know, <laughs> Google give her, it. Give her a lot of water. Put put a poll on Facebook. Yeah. How much water did do you remember coming out? Mm. Is it like a clean up on aisle three or is it just a little trickle like you yeah. wet yourself? Yeah. That, I can't believe, really. <laughs> you thought cup of tea. Mm. Would you just, what would you, well, would, would I'd you want? Add, to... I'd add sugar. Yeah. Course. Probably a bit of milk. Even though there might be some of that in there already. I don't know. Like, I don't know how water, what water, when water breaks is like. Water you know. does not contain milk. Well, no, but from. You're thinking of boobs. From a boobs woman. produce milk. Yeah, but, you know, it's in the same body. <laughs> so naturally it all comes okay. out of one or a first. Right. Well, if she's lactating, then I'll squeeze some of that out as well. Put that in the coffee. Coffee. 100% well, where natural. we get the sugar from? Well, well, I don't know. Probably my cupboard. Oh. <laughs> so it's not 100%. It's not 100% no. woman. Yeah, I, I was expecting a part, uh, a, an orifice of a woman's body to produce sugar. That defeats How? the object, because like, where would I get the tea from on a woman? Unless she is genuinely a tea bag. You haven't met a lot of women, Dan, have you? They don't produce sugar. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna, I just that, to that's a pretty bizarre thought. Dan, you got anything? Well, you've depressed me now, pointing out that I haven't met many women, which is true, of course. But no, I'm not suggesting you haven't seen a lot of women. It's just you haven't got close enough to them to find out they don't produce sugar. 
Well, you must have loads of fun in the sugar aisle in Sainsbury's. <laughs> Point me to your nearest woman, please. <laughs> How is sugar made? It's it's a sugar cane, Dan. <laughs> but where's the sugar cane? It's inside a woman. How are they? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. How does it come out? The woman. Come out. That's with... what I'm asking. I don't know. All I see are X-rays of women in which there's loads of sugar canes inside them, and then I see bags of sugar in the supermarket, and I want to know how you get from A to B. Those are the bones, mate. Really? Yeah. Yes. Women have bones too. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know women have bones. I... I thought that women were held up by all the unused babies inside them. You really didn't pay attention to science, did you? I, n- I never bothered with science because I knew it all already. I read the Bible and a lot of s- stuff that you get taught in science just, you know, goes against the Bible. So I just said, well, this science is you, clearly wrong. Did you have a sermon on how women are made out of sugar? <laughs> and Jesus said, you shall take your women and that... squeeze out the sugar. <laughs> Pour some in your tea, mate. Have it in your cake. It'll be fine. Now that I come to think of it, that was just before my vicar was put into a home. But yeah, that's what I've always thought. You've always thought that sugar comes from tea. That is a bizarre thought. Sugar comes from tea. Sugar, sugar comes from women. Sugar comes from women. Sugar, yeah, sugar comes with tea, but it comes from women. women. Wow. Um, <laughs> Maybe that's why they're so sweet. Hey. hey! No women are here. If you use that chat up line with women, yeah, they would They would go for that. Do you really think? Brendan, I'm, I don't... I, no. Try it. Go to try be, it. To be fair, if we do try you, it, we you, would have to then explain after about this entire conversation about my theory that women have lots of sugar inside them. If you are released from the booth, go out into the world and promise me that you will go out to a woman yeah. and say... But but then again, take into account Dan's thesis, then I wouldn't need sugar. There would be sugar in the water already. Oh, yeah. yeah that's where it comes from. Yeah. For all that talk of women producing sugar, I think I think Dan has to get the point. Even though it's spun off Antoshes, I think Dan gets the point. So yeah. at the end of that... Thank you very much at the end of that you're drawing right uh we come to the final game real or fake that's real with a double e as this is all about films in this quick fire round i'll present you with two words or phrases one of which is according to the internet movie database anyway a genuine feature length film so this is a quick fire round you'll need to get in first by using some form of buzzer this week they shall take the form of your opponent's surname so antosh you shout luxton and dan oh brilliant you shout Voichik. number one pavlov's dogs or killing schrodinger's cats which is the real film? Luxton. Schrodinger's Cats. Yes, Killing Schrodinger's Cats uh, was made in 2010, and as the title suggests, it's about a bunch of teens trapped in a house, and one gets a vision that they'll be killed by one of the group. Naturally. Of course. Naturally. Well, it does involve, apparently, the message, kill Schrodinger's Cats, or someone gets it. That, that, Schrodinger's Cat isn't real. Yes, it is. It was a genuine scientific experiment. Yes, obviously. People genuinely put a cat in a box. Scientists... To test the theory, yeah. Yeah, scientists are mad. Uh, executive decision or blue sky thinking? Voichik. Yes. I've hit the desk. <laughs> blue sky thinking. Uh, wrong. Bollocks. It, yes, uh, executive decision is a 1966 action film starring Kurt Russell, Steven Seagal and Hal Berry. It concerns an intelligence analyst. I, I don't think it, with that cast it would be qualified as a film. <laughs> it, it does. It concerns an intelligence analyst who is brought in to help out a commando unit dealing with terrorists. Hooray, a film all about data. So that was Star Trek Nemesis. Number three, pizza or pasta? Voichik. Pasta. Yes. No! Ah! Yep, Pizza is a 2005 feature that sounds both sleazy and cheesy. It's about a pizza <laughs> delivery man who bonds with a girl half his age. <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any worse, its tagline was, On her 18th birthday, she was delivered the best night of her life. Uh... That just sounds like porn. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure that's not in the internet movie. Does the internet movie database have porn on it? I don't know, man. Does it count as a legitimate title? It depends. If it w- Maybe if it wins awards. Well, they I- are actresses too, man. Even though they're always talking about like trimming hedges and fixing pipes. And- as long as they produce sugar, that's fine with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number four. Adam's apples or Eve's dropping. Luxton. Yep. Adam's Apples. Yes, Adam's Apples is a 2005 flick in which a neo-Nazi serving community service at a church clashes with a local priest. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Based on a true story. Is it? Yeah, based on something that happened in my part of the world back back in London about 20 years ago when a neo-Nazi who was approaching the end of his life, because obviously if it's 20 years ago, he'd still be very old, clashed with a priest, and they ended up having a sword fight on top of the Crystal Palace. It was very exciting. Are you making that up? Of course I'm making it up, you <laughs> fool. <laughs> okay, last one. Beret or Trilby? Which is the film? Oxton. Yep. Beret. No, Trilby. Oh. It's a 1923 silent movie. What's it about? Well, 59 minutes. Okay, at the end of that, we'll have a winner. But first, uh, anyone want to plug anything anywhere <laughs> we can find their work or listen to their music? 
Anyone doing anything exciting that they want the internet to know? I don't know. There's several things we could plug. Flash when, when, is, when is this being aired? Well, for the sake of it, pretend this is going to be aired. Oh. Brendan is going to listen to it back and realise that none of it was funny. <laughs> none, of it, <laughs> none of it is going to be aired, so... Fine, make um, up a plug. Don't say Flash Nificent 7 are blogs. Flash, Flash Nificent 7 are blogs. It's full of fun... Stories. Yeah, it's all Flash Fiction. It's good fun. It's I, I'm involved. Some, you're involved. Some of it's a bit depressing sometimes, but it's all for good. It's all for... It makes sound like a charity. It's yeah, a yeah. good cause. It helps cause. people who need stories. For literature. Dan, you got anything you're doing, listening to, not, reading? Not particularly. I could make up something. This August, I'll be climbing Mount Everest with the severed head of Brendan Way in my backpack. So send in your money and we'll see how high I can get smoking drugs. <laughs> I know nothing about drugs. <laughs> you don't worry, you can get high off them. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of that, the final scores, uh, Dan had two, Antosh has four. Antosh, you are leaving. Yeah, you yeah. get to leave the booth. You get to leave this sweaty booth. Yay. And Dan, you'll be uh, with me playing Monopoly for weeks on end until the next show, if I if I commission it. If not, we're trapped in it forever. Hooray! Yeah, uh, you never know the meaning of board games until you play them forever and ever. Say that yourself. Yeah. Right. Uh, that was the booth. I'd like to thank uh, my contestants, Dan. Hi. And, bye. And Antosh. This is the end, so I'm going to say bye. Bye. I'm out of here. That was the booth devised and presented by me, Brennan Way. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye.